What I want to do today is connect our Google Assistant and Google Task apps so that whenever we ask Google Assistant to send a prompt, a task will automatically be created in our Google Tasks account. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial, so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want my Google Assistant to trigger the creation of a task in Google Tasks, I'll need to use Google Assistant as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Pushed Voice Message as my event and click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google sees that I've sent a new push voice message to my Google Assistant, it's going to run this workflow. I want to inform to my coworkers that I got a new lead in my Google Tasks channel, so for the trigger phase, I'm going to type send a new lead in tasks. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, we'll first need to authenticate our Google Assistant with Zapier. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Grab your phone and then go on the Google Assistant app. You'll want to say, talk to Zapier. From there, you'll receive a prompt that states that your Zapier account needs to be linked to your Google Assistant before continuing. Say yes and the authentication screen should pop up. From there, you can authenticate the app and go back to the test trigger screen on your computer and then click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Google Tasks into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click create task and click continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Tasks with Zapier, just like I did with my Google Assistant. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click continue and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the action apps fields. First, pick the task list you want your task to appear on. I'm going to select my tasks. Next, under title, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type new lead alert and then under notes, I'll type in a custom message as well. I'll type in, hey guys, a new lead just called in. Please call when you get the chance. Under due date, I'll type in a custom message once more. I'll type tomorrow at 5 p.m. and then I'll click continue. Click test action and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime we ask Google Assistant to send a prompt, a task will automatically be created in Google Tasks. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.